this is like a roller coaster, very fun. The ball slide down and then go somewhere else. Point X is at the height speed of ball is 2.5 meter per second. So I should probably label that down in case I forget. it. Oh, this is way too big. I should probably label it down 2.5 meter per second. Frictional forces are negligible. Means I don't have to worry about work done against friction or frictional forces, none of that. What is the speed of the ball at point Y? So eventually this ball will roll down here. Right? But how do you find the speed? When you think of like, oh, can I use kinematics equation maybe? No, you can't use that because this ball is not moving in a straight line. So you can't use that because the acceleration will be different throughout the entire journey. So we need to use something else, the shortcut called energy. Conservation of energy is your best friend here. I mean, this is also a conservation of energy question. So what are the energy being converted? What energy does this ball have when it is up at point X? Let's list it out. You are going to have kinetic energy up here because it's moving, ma. But you are also going to have gravitational potential energy because it is up at some height. When it goes down here, gravitational potential energy is zero because why? Everything has been converted into kinetic energy. So the ball is going to be moving much faster lah, in that sense when it's down there at Y. Okay, so the main energy, energy conversion is gravitational potential energy converted into kinetic energy. Let's write out an equation for this whole process. So eh, I'm just going to write it up here. Okay, so what we're going to have is Total, because conservation of energy, so the total energy before, or the initial energy, you know what, I'm just going to say total initial energy equals to total final energy. So in the beginning, what do you have? What do you, what do you have in the beginning? Well, you can say, uh, I have GPE, so I can do MGH, right? Yeah, 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 you could do MGH. So MGH plus half m what you call that v square so this v here will be 2.5 square and you're like hang on a second do we know the mass of this object we don't know so how cannot do already uh? mm, never mind we stay calm we continue first who knows maybe the m will cancel out later wink and after that do you have any more gravitational potential energy actually no if we take this as our reference height zero then there's no more. All the gravitational potential energy has been converted to kinetic energy. So all we have here is half m v squared, and that v is what we're trying to find. Now, what shall we do next? Oh, yes, we can divide every term by m and make life so much easier. So the height here will be g times, uh, let me just plug in all the values so you can see them, 9.81 times 0.4, that's the first one, plus half 2.5 square equals to half times v square. So that's what we're trying to find. Okay, so we press some calculation, calculator, hopefully you get correct. You should get for v, I wrote down my calculations for you, about 3.7547 meters per second. The final answer just rounds off to 2SF, so should be about 3.8, 3.7. So let's take a look at this conservation of energy. So what is the speed? 3.8 is the answer. Okay. So this is the best answer you can choose for this question. Yay. Okay, so remember, what is the energy being converted? If there's friction, you have to include work done against friction as well, but... None of that is here, so very nice. This is how you can do conservation of energy questions for balls going down tracks like this. That's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.